Mm. I'm so tired. But it's time for another video blog. Yay! Not really. So, I got this really ignorant message a while back from this boy in Navy. I've talked about it before, but I deleted those videos. And I'm not going to say his name. I'm going to censor it now because, to be quite honest with you, I'm a nice guy. And I don't want to get the boy in trouble. Because I know about that crazy ass, don't ask, don't tell policy that kicks people out there openly gay or bisexual, but she claimed to be, but he sure could take a dick in the ass like any better than any gay dude I've ever seen. But that's a whole other story. Yes, I slept with him two times. So this boy in the Navy is a little bit mentally unstable. He's a little bit off his rocker. Um, he told me about this. He used to pee on people in elementary school if he didn't like them. So he's obviously got a behavioral problem and some a couple of screws loose up here. Um, he, after he stopped talking to me, we were friends for a while back during our fuck buddy days. And... Um, it was about New Year's of 2009 when he stopped talking to me. He just acted like he didn't want to hang out anymore. So I'm just like, okay, I guess he's moved on to another chapter of his life. He thinks that I'm an insignificant being that he doesn't want to associate with. So, okay, I'm totally fine with that. Move on with your life. The motherfucker stays friends with me on MySpace long enough to let all this seething hatred towards me build up. He, instead of deleting me, acted like a child one night and just left this really long, ignorant-ass, redneck message uh, as a response to one of my bulletins. I posted a bulletin talking about Proposition 8 and how I don't agree with the fact that protesters of Proposition 8 were being arrested in some town in Northern California. These are peaceful protesters who are exercising their constitutional rights to speak their minds, and the government is discriminating against them by having them arrested. Any idiot uh, who knows anything about America or the Constitution can figure out that that's wrong. But Daniel here, who has been brainwashed, I don't want to say brainwashed, I'm, I do apologize for that. I don't want to go down that road. I'm not one of those people who thinks the government is... I don't want to be one of those NWO type people. I'm certainly not. Um, but he he's just got this... Uh, you have to admit, a lot of these people who join the military, they get this false sense of patriotism. And it just goes to the extremes, and it's ridiculous. So here's the message that he sent to me without further delay. Let's read it together. You know, if you hate this country so much and move the fuck out of it, we have more rights here than basically anywhere. It may not be quite where we'd like it yet, but in many places around the world, you would be killed or beaten or arrested just for being gay. And in most other places, you would be ridiculed far more than here. So count your lucky stars and stripes. That, and remember that the same people who are fighting for their lives and defending our country are the same ones who you are ridiculing right now. You say how things are so fucking bad when they aren't. How about next time before you talk about how much you hate it here? Go live somewhere else for a while. And see who doesn't come running right back. Urr, oh, he owned me. Oh, burn. Not really. I, when I first read that, I was thinking, dude, you not realize how fucking ignorant you just made yourself look? Seriously, think about it, people. This boy has signed up to fight in the Navy to fight for America and freedom, yet he is completely and totally contradicting the very thing that he signed up for by insulting me for standing up for individuals who have had their constitutional rights violated. You see what I'm saying here? I mean, are you guys following me? You see what I'm, I'm, I'm trying to stand up for people's rights here? And that threatens this little sailor boy so much that he'd send me an ignorant-ass message like that. This is somebody whose dick has been up inside of me, thrusting, and my dick has been inside of them. My tongue has been up inside of their booty hole, and it tasted good. Now, I will give him this. He's hot. He is a freak in the bedroom. And that's pretty much the only thing we've got going for him. I hate to sound rude. I don't want to be mean. I was going to say that his he doesn't have a whole lot of brains and that his uh, sexual performance is the only good thing that he's got going for him. And he's good in the bedroom, like I said. I'll give him that. He's got a nice, tasty, white boy butthole that just... <clears throat> 
We ain't gonna get into that. Might have some straight people out there watching. I do apologize as y'all were offended by my temporary faggotry. But anyways, moving on. You see, this kind of ignorance exists in our country. It's just down home redneck ignorance. Now I'm from the South. I have no problem with people who identify with being rednecks. I can get a little red myself sometimes, especially when I'm angry. A friend of mine tells me all the time, your country comes out when you get mad, and it does. I, I, can, I can get real country. But I'm not ignorant. I'm not one of these people who are blindly patriotic and defends the country at any cost. You know, there's problems here in America that need to be addressed. And we can't solve those problems unless we look at them, unless we talk about it and debate it. But attacks like this aren't going to get us anywhere. And somebody's calling me again. That's the second time somebody's called me during a video blog this week. And I'm sorry, but I'm just going to have to ignore that call and call them back later. And yes, I've been scratching the hell out of myself the whole time I've been making this video because I'm itching. Yes, I know I'm fat. Man boobies. But anyways... Hey girl. Girl, I'm recording a YouTube video. Oh, what are you doing? I'm talking about some ignorance. You want to give a shout out to my YouTube people? Hey, what's up YouTube world? My ignorant people may they explode. <laughs> That's my girl ERG. Ooh. I had to make me a smoothie. I got a little bit hungry. So back to the subject at hand. You know, this man, this boy, uh, you know, if you don't like me as an American citizen exercising my right to freedom of speech, if that threatens you so damn much, then why don't you move to Iran where people don't have that right? And you want to sit here and talk about how things are so bad in other countries. I know things are bad for great people in other countries. I know what's happened in Zimbabwe and um, other African nations where there's mobs uh, coming out to attack gay people and uh, gay people who attempt to get married are being imprisoned. Uh, people are being hung in Iran for being gay. In Jamaica, you can get killed for being gay, and it's perfectly legal. And other countries have sodomy laws. In Russia, I mean, that's a hell of a place for gay people, too. But it's important to realize that, though we do have it better than these other countries, we still have a lot of work to do. And we shouldn't just drop everything that we're doing, collect our losses, and be satisfied with what we have. We still have to fight to make things better in our homeland. Our issues here in America are still important regardless of all that bad stuff going on, okay? I'm concerned about it just as much as you are. I really am. But we can't allow that to distract us from making progress here on the home front. There's a lot of people out there, including myself, who are fighting against this ridiculous don't ask, don't tell policy. A uh, policy which uh, our buddy here, uh, could uh, be fired because of because of this policy. They have the right to kick him out and destroy his career because he happens to be of you know a gay or bisexual orientation. And I don't think that's right at all. None of our service members should uh, have to walk on eggshells and live in fear of being fired or kicked out of the military because of their sexuality. That's discrimination. I'm against the don't ask not pal policy. So people like this should be honored that there's people like me out there who are fighting for them for their rights. You see, it's a mutual thing. We're fighting for each other. You're fighting for my freedom by serving the country, and I'm fighting for your freedom by fighting against don't ask don't tell. See, we're helping each other out here. It's a cycle. And you don't really seem to get that. You know, people like this don't really seem to get it when they send me messages like this. I don't know if he's drunk stressed out from boot camp or what. But this little petty officer pissed me the hell off. The moral of the story, kids, is that you need to think twice before acting ignorant. Or saying ignorant shit. Because it'll stick with you. Because, you know, there's people like me out there who are very resourceful. Us Tauruses, we like to keep... We don't uh, sweep stuff under the rug. We remember it for years, and we will throw it up in your face. I might add, this boy's an Aries. I should have known not to get involved with this man who was an Aries. There's only one Aries that I've ever gotten along with that I can tolerate. Probably would be fighting with him if I was around him all the time. But for the most part, I can tolerate him. But most other Aries people, I just don't get along with them at all. That's not a good match for me. It's just a fight waiting to happen. They irritate me. <laughs> and that's the end of the story. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Ha, 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 ha.
God damn, I'm crazy.